Hello and welcome back to Fire Mode The Last Promise, 0% growth. This is Chapter 11, also known as the start of Anakin Mode. This clear was originally going to be very much so inspired by Crash Boom Bang's clear of this map in four turns. Now, is this still, still the same turn count, but the only thing similar is Kevin's turn 1 movement. Kevin and Ace's turn 1 movement. Anakin snowballs and gains level early so we can one round enemies so that Karina, a unit who shows up later in the map, targets the boss the javelin instead on turn enemy turn three enemy phase. However, I need to take a slightly different route. It doesn't really change that much. Uh, during this unit we get two unit two new units, Anakin and Ace. Anakin is a light mage uh it just functions as a light mage in this chapter, but also our lord. In future maps he is going to seize, but he is also a dancer, which is incredibly useful. You already know how Kevin is like. And Ace is a soldier with 5 strength, 5 skill, and 8 speed. He'll be seeing the bench as soon as possible. Although his low stats do make him useful for some AI baiting. Anakin has to dodge one of the attacks that hits him during this enemy phase. That's Eduardo, a cavalier with 30 HP, 9 base strength, I think it's 9 base strength, maybe 8, and a personal weapon that has 5 might, has 60 hit, but is brave. He'll be decently useful for the first couple maps. Uh, he also only has E-Rank Swords. Uh, during this turn, he equips an Iron Lance and visits the village. He's doing this to bait over a couple enemies. He would equip the charge and route those enemies below him, and Kevin would retreat in a Groats run, because Kevin is, all, is pretty fast. Um, Anakin has to dodge one of the attacks that hits him this playing uh, this enemy phase. He weakens the archer to the point where he can kill it next turn, which is literally everything that he needs to do. Uh, also included in this video is going to be chapter 12. Chapter 12 is a simple four turn, much like this map. Both of these maps have hit the turn floor for a full recruit playthrough, because turn four is the earliest you can recruit Karina, and I'm pretty sure it is the earliest you can finish the map anyway, because Anakin cannot reach the boss until turn four. Eduardo, I think, can reach the boss on turn three, but it'd be incredibly difficult to kill, because I don't believe he has crit on Talon. Kevin in a Groats run would double that fighter, so he has to use a Steel Lance to lower his accuracy to the point where he would miss him. That's something that happens in Crash's run, but obviously it doesn't happen here. That's Karina, and she's going to be serving as our main flying unit for the, first, for the next couple chapters. She has amazing base stats, 30 HP, 10 strength, uh, being 10 strength and I believe it's 12 speed, being huge standouts. To put this into perspective, she three shots the boss of this chapter with a javelin, and nearly comes close to two shotting him with an axe reaper. She's just two damage short. If he was not on the throne, she would one round him with an axe reaper. <clears throat> one thing that I decided to do in this map, that I didn't have to do, was try to route it. My only mistake with that is that I miss an attack with Eduardo on the fighter, because I don't equip the iron lance. But it didn't. Uh. I didn't equip the Iron Lance on player, phase, player phase, I just tried to do it with Steel Lance. Not Steel Lance. Charge. His personal weapon. That's brave. And he did not see used at all during this map. Karina moves up and hits the boss twice with a Javelin. She almost 58% hit and she only has to hit him once. Uh, I forgot to turn on animations for this boss kill, but it doesn't particularly matter. It's still very useful uh, to have Karina. Uh, the, the rest of the enemies are wrapped up. Yeah, the uh, Iron Lands give him more accuracy. I don't know why I went with the charge. I guess I just wanted to demonstrate it. Oh, I actually hit the start there because I thought the conversation was longer. Now, there is something interesting that happens after this map. After this clear. You cannot skip this cutscene. It's a cutscene that you have to watch because there's a yes or no option in it. Kind of like Farina's recruitment in cha uh, chapter 25 of Binding Blade, not Binding Blade, Blazing Blade. This would give us access to two different maps. We have a route where we recruit a Myrmidon named Logan, whose stats are absolutely pitiful for a 0% growth context, or a hero named Ash, who, it may be pronounced Ash, but I'm going to pronounce it Ask. Ashk. His stats are godly, and he's a hero with hand axes, so he's going to be very useful in the early game. 
That village that Eduardo visited on turn one, uh, sorry, not turn one, turn two, has a white gem in it if Karina visits it. However, because she's on busy on boss killing duty, uh, I cannot get the white gem. In the growth playthrough, Eduardo would sell the blue gem, but it doesn't, but I would try to route the map instead. Plus, luring that fighter over made Karina and uh, Anakin safer. You have to kill that boss during one player phase uh, if you get him down to 10 HP because he will heal himself otherwise. If he didn't have a vulnerary, it would be a simple two shot with an axe. It would be a simple uh, hit him twice with an axe shaver and then equip Iron Lance for enemy phase. Because that map was rather short, I'm actually going to play the. Uh, going to stop playing the movie for chapter uh, 11 and start playing the inputs for chapter 12. Chapter 12 is another four turn chapter. In this we get on this map we have we get Altares back, and we also get um Helic, one of the main lords, whose main theme is uh whose main theme is his world, and Levion, a paladin who is going to be incredibly useful later in the run, just not super great here. The only difference in this chapter really from the goats run is that Levion gives his silver sword and dragon axe to Kellic. It's just because I would like to have them before Le uh Levion rejoins, because he rejoins with a fresh dragon axe and a fresh silver sword. I, ne I need the Dragon Axe, and I would like to have the Silver Sword for, uh, a spare- I would like to have a spare Silver Sword for Liam and when Siegfried rejoins, because it'll allow, it'll allow him to pick up a kill here and there if need be. On turn 2, Altares gets the Boots. Yeah, this is the oldest time you ever gain access to them in a Fire Emblem game. Uh, that soldier that blocked Kellogg's way ha gets killed with Kellogg's uh, personal weapon, the Flamberge. It is a very, very strong weapon. It's a once to range weapon that has, I th I'm pretty sure, 12 might. Um, 37 uses, which is weird. Decent hit and uh, built-in crit, making Kellogg an actually really good combat unit for the first couple maps. This map is a turn floor because it's impossible to open that door any sooner than turn three enemy phase. You don't have any door keys. The story of this chapter is that Howard, uh, is ambushing you. I wasn't originally sure if I needed the uh, silver sword on Le'Veon to kill that thief, um, but if so, I would have been screwed out of getting it. Altares gets a white gem, so starting uh, as soon as I'm able to uh, sell the white gem and the blue gem, I'm going to have 15,000 gold. To end this chapter, it's an escape chapter. You have to have a unit wait on that arrow tile. During this map, Kellic, uh burns through <laughs> Get it? Burns through. Uh, six uses of a flamberge. I'd like to conserve it a little bit, but it doesn't particularly matter because I want to get him promoted when uh, I can. Anyway, that's chapter 12. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time for one of the more annoying early game chapters.